season I make mention of you in my prayer. Make request if by some means now at last I may find a way in the will of God to come to you. 
For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift, so that you may be established. That is, that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now I do not want you to be unaware, brother, that I often plan to come to you, but was hindered until now, that I may have some truth among you also, just as among the other Gentiles. I am a debtor both to Greek and to the barbarian, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as, as much as is in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you who are in Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone Amen. who believes, for the Jews first and also for the Greek. For in the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. It, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Amen. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen. For it is the power unto the salvation to everyone that believes. To the Jews first and to the Greeks. I don't know about you this morning, uh, 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 but I often wonder why is the church still here? I often wonder that. Is it to praise and worship? No, we can do that in heaven. Is it to sing and serve? We can do that in heaven. The only thing that we're supposed to do while we are still here on the earth that, that God gave us the powers to do is tell the, uh, bring the lost to this house. Reach the lost. That's what our job is. It's not about the, uh, what we do here, the sing and praise and worship. We can do that in heaven if you are saved by Jesus Christ. The prime objective of the church is to reach everyone and tell everyone the good news, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 He, he goes by a whole lot of names, but when we talk about the, the good news, we're talking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about no baseball. We're not talking about no, no football. We are talking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and, 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 and talk about Jesus. It's not left up to the pastors and and, 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 and the preacher. I mean, the preachers. And the banner is left of everyone that have been called by Jesus Christ to even uh, uh, being committed. Amen. 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 If you are committed to Jesus Christ, you can tell a lost soul about the good news. Amen. The good news is no more than Jesus Christ. That one that died on the cross for your sins and mine. The one that made a way out of no way for you this morning. The word preach means to proclaim or announce about someone that's important, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. There are three points I'm going to make this morning, then it's not going to be long. First it is the message. Second, there is power in the message that I'm going to bring you. All right, now. Third, the church has been empowered to preach the message. We have been in power, power to preach the message. In other words, go and tell someone else about Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. You just don't come here on Sunday morning and sit here and, 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 and hear the word and then don't do anything about it. It's it, it, it just like you, 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 you're putting money in a bank and, and not spending none and just letting it lay there and not helping nobody. But you need to tell somebody about Jesus. Jesus. That's what we're supposed to do. We don't supposed to walk around and I got it and, and that's all right. Let them get there. That's not no. where he said go tell somebody. Oh, yes. Everybody that he healed, he said don't tell nobody. But getting still, it was so good to them, they had to go tell somebody. That's right. That's right. Can I get an amen? amen. We're going to be here all, all let's see. Oh, yeah. Football come on today. I know that's what you're waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But have you ever noticed? How easy it is to talk to people uh, uh, about the weather, mm -hmm. about baseball, mm -hmm. about your family, about anything that's important to you. But when it comes to talking about Jesus, Jesus, you sort of you get you, you, your, your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth, and you can't say nothing about him, about his love, how he saved you. How he brought you out of your predicament. How he how he put clothes on your back. How he put food in your mouth. And you can't talk about that. It says Satan 
don't want to hear none of that. But it's all right. Because Satan's not my boss. Jesus Christ is my boss. I'm going to tell everybody I meet about Jesus Christ because I want them to know to feel the same thing that I feel. When you can feel what Jesus has done for you in the mess that we've been living in a long time ago, how he brought you and shined you up and make you look like new money. You should be praising him and telling everybody, if he did it for me, he would do it for you. Mm. God didn't call us to be weathermen. He didn't call us to be sportcasters. He called us to be a speaker to tell somebody about him. You don't need to be, you can't, you can't, you know, they don't care about in the street out there what you talk about. They don't care. They don't care if you talk about this church. If they are not saved, they don't care about it. But when you start talking about Jesus to them, this is where Satan steps in and, and, and starts uh, telling you, keep your mouth closed. Don't speak about Jesus. Talk, talk to them about everything else. But we are not, uh, 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 Jesus, I mean, uh, Satan is not our boss. Right. Jesus is our boss. Yes, he is. And what we need to do, we need to, I, I, you know, we need to speak, talk to the lost that have lost their way. We need to talk to the lonely and tell them that Jesus is a friend to the friends. Amen. We need to take the, t talk to the child that don't have a father, that his father, that he'll be a father to them. Amen. We need to talk to the sick and tell them Jesus is a great uh, uh, physician. When we, when we get to talking to the addict and the drug addict, the uh, uh, drug, you, uh, the one that drugs on and strong drink, tell them that Jesus is a deliverer. And, and when you get to the broken heart, you need to tell them that Jesus is a bind, that they come to bind up broken hearted people. Yes, yes. He need to, when you get to the man that's laying on the bed, on the sick bed, you tell him that Jesus is your resurrection and your life. Uh -huh. yes. And when you get to the man, that, uh, uh, the sinner that, uh, 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 that is lost, is in sin, tell him that Jesus is the Savior. Yes. When, you, when, you, when you put all this together... Jesus is telling you, this is what you're supposed to tell those that have lost their way. Those that are sick in their body. Those that uh, have lost someone. You know, you got people that suffer, suffer because of the fact that we are church people. Won't help that person with their head bent down. They don't know what's on their mind. You, you think it's because yes, of they, yes. they, something else is wrong with them. But you need to ask that person if you know anything. It says to go to the woman that, that had lost her husband. That had run, walked out of the house on her. Go to that, that mother that the uh, daughter is pregnant. You need to go to these people and talk to the mother and tell them that Jesus is the way. He is a deliverer. He will, he will heal you whatever is sick. He, he will do these things for you. And Paul said it in, in 1 Corinthians, It is pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. But Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ are called both Jews and the Greeks. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Yes, yes. And Paul said, I, for I'm determined not to know anything among you save, except save Jesus, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Right. Jesus told us that the cup will come. He come to test you when you, you testify of me. But let, don't let the devil scare you into, into silence and the single most important message you would ever proclaim. Don't let the devil stop you from speaking about Jesus. Amen. Don't let him stop it. He would if, if you you need to be strong in the word. You need you need to be you you need to read. You need to pray. You need to do all of these things to keep your mind on one thing of court, and that is on Jesus Christ. You don't need to leave a little gap in there so Satan to enter in and destroy your testimony. Amen. Because Satan's job is he he's, he got a good job. He's done it. All over, the, all over the churches, all right. over the street, he's taking people by the, the hundreds, the thousands. But if we don't do what we're supposed to do in this church or in other church, right. tell somebody about Jesus. Right. And, and, and stand on your word. Don't let them, don't let them talk you out of it. Just tell them one time, That's Jesus right. is the way. Amen. And when God brought, when, when God brings somebody lost soul in your, 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 your view, uh, uh, in your presence, you need you need to you need you need to tell them about my son Jesus Christ that died on the cross for you and me. Jesus told us that he said Jesus uh, said he is the message. Yes. He is the answer to earth's sorrow. Yes. 
Jesus is the hope for the hopeless. And Jesus helped for the helpless. And, and a healing balm for the wounded. And Jesus is my soon coming Savior. All right now. And there is power in the message of Jesus Christ. There's a whole lot of message uh, in, in his word in him. Period. When you talk about Jesus, you can even look back on the way your life was. When, before you came to him, how he brought you out. You can tell someone else about how he brought you out, and he could do the same thing for them. I tell people all the time, he saved me when I was laying on my bed down in, 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 in uh, Berlin, looking up to the ceiling. The doctor said I wasn't going to live. But I'm going to tell you, when I start praying, Jesus came in and entered in, and I walked out of there on a, that was a Wednesday. I walked out on a Thursday. I could do, use the bathroom. I could do everything. Amen. He stopped my blood sugar from going oh. up because they had said I was going to die. Yeah. But I said to myself, no, I'm not because I know a Savior. Yeah. I know a Savior that can save me, yeah. and he, he saved others, and he can save me. Yeah. Yeah. It says, Paul, Paul it, it said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Paul, uh, Peter preached uh, uh, 3,000 souls and that was added to the kingdom. Paul, Peter, they preached. Paul got saved and began to preach. He preached all through the land. He was he was shipwrecked. He was, he was everything. He was thrown in jail for everything that he had said about Jesus Christ. But yet and still, we know how Paul began. Paul was a crucified of the Christian. Yes. Paul was a man that crucified every, everybody that believed in Jesus Christ. But he said one day on the road to Damascus, uh -huh. said light came down and knocked him off his beast. Yes. And said that he was binding for three days. Say a man by the name of Adonai didn't want to go to him. But Jesus told him to go to him. Yeah. Tell him that he was going to preach the word. I'm just paraphrasing right now. That he was going to preach the word. But when Paul started preaching, he, he, he was saving souls. He was healing bodies. He was doing everything that he's supposed to be done. That's the same thing with us. When God has saved you and called you for the purpose yes. what it's supposed to be, you can do anything that God has told you to do. Don't let, don't let the Satan beat you out and say, no, you can't do that. I can do anything that God threatened me to do. Paul preached from city to city. Yes. In the face of rejection all by his own countrymen. Mm -hmm. They were scared of Paul because they knew what Paul had done in the past. Amen. They knew that he had took them and, and took them back and, and put them in prison, beat them and everything else. He saved soul from soul and churches was planted in Paul's name. They, they, he planted churches. Sick was healed and dead was raised. Mm -hmm. And the book of Acts teaches us that the Holy Spirit's work most powerful through churches that are ready to preach Jesus. Right. We have to be ready to preach Jesus in inside Amen. and outside. Amen. We don't need to be talking about this as far as it goes. We don't need to go out there and tell somebody walking the street about Jesus. We need to tell those are the ones we need to reach the unchurched. Right. You already been saved in here. You say you're saved. You came to the altar and say you're saved. You've been committed. Those out there don't know that way. We need to bring them in. Show them the way uh, and and, and that, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Amen. It says that uh, it wasn't a message of self-help, a message of democracy that brought peace to the uh, troubled soul, but it was the simple message of love of God displayed in the sacrificial death of His Son, Jesus Christ. It was a message of healing stream that flowed from Emmanuel's uh, vein and sin of plunge beneath the flow. Lose all thy guilt to stain. Yes, yes, yes. We are supposed to preach Jesus. There's power in the message. Power, yes. power to open prison doors and of sin yes. and set the captives free. Amen. Power to lift condemnation. Yes. And power to over, overcome the guilt. If we are, we go through all of this, we, we have did any of these things. We feel guilt about anything. God can bring you out of the guilty trip that you are on. Yes, yes. We have been empowered to preach Jesus. Yes. In Luke, he says, Jesus said, uh, Repent and remission of sin should, should be preached in his name to all nations, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until we endow with power from on high. Yes. 
And in, in Acts, he said also, he said, you shall receive power after that Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witness. We supposed to be Jesus' witness. I don't know what you're talking about. We supposed to be his witness inside and outside. We don't just supposed to go home and talk about him, put him, put him on the shelf and wait the next Sunday. We supposed to talk about Jesus daily. Yeah, Talk to Jesus about the guy on the job that come in smelling like alcohol. Talk to Jesus about the guy that they come in there that uh, don't even know his weight. Talk to him about that. Talk to the woman about the, the one that done lost her way. She went back out into the street. Talk to them. Yes. Talk to those that stand on the street corner this, oh, this yes. evening. Yes. Right. Jesus told the seven disciples when, when he had sent out the city of Judea, Behold, I give you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Yes, yes, yes. He said also and said in Mark, God, go into the city and preach the gospel to every creature every and every, uh, every yes. and give signs to those that believe. Yes. And in my name, they shall cast out demons. They shall cast, speak with new tongues. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. He said they should speak with new tongues. Mm -hmm. Just like we said this morning, when you do all this, you should have a new heart and a new spirit. Yes, yes, yes. You got all of this when you have did what God wants you to do. Hallelujah. You will come out way smelling like roses. You got a new heart and a new, new spirit. Yes, and yes, you can't yes. get that through unless you read yes, Romans 12, yes. the 12th chapter 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2 talks about the being transformed. Once you are transformed to that new creature, then you can change your, change your, your you can come new. You can come new. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, talking about the all things have passed away, you become new. Yes. This is what this is all about. You cannot serve God in the old frame of mind that you have now. You can't go out there and preach to somebody if you got some doubt about yourself. You cannot, you cannot tell the sick about something that you've never been through if you've never been sick. You can't tell a drunk how to stop drinking unless you've been through it yourself. You can't tell nobody about no marriage if you have not suffered nothing through you if you haven't been married. You have to be done, you have to have all this stuff happen before you can go tell somebody else. He didn't give the church power simply to uh, shout around the altar. He didn't give the church power to speak cars and houses into existence. He did not he did not give the church power to sit around and tell about how much power we got than everybody else. A lot of us like to uh, 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 talk about I'm more holy than die. Mm -hmm. But let something happen. Let something happen to you. If somebody says something to you that's out the way, we'll find out how holy than die is. Because you will go back into your, your glad rag like you used to do when you was out there on the street doing everything I was doing when I was out there. He said he gave the church power to be his witness. He gave the church power to preach Jesus. That's what he gave. He didn't give you the power just to sit around and talk about houses and cars and, and money, how much money you got in the bank. If you got all this money, you're not giving it to the poor. But oh, when you understand that the Spirit of God is never nearer than when you are witness for Jesus, when you are telling someone uh, uh, empty soul where to find satisfaction. Yes. And when you understand that the, the, at the moment you are a vessel through which the Spirit of God can flow, then it should be our desire to seize every opportunity that we can get to tell somebody the goodness, about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's just what it's all about. Tell somebody about the power of Jesus, what he have done in your life. It says that uh, in order for the church to grow and believe, in, and I believe that it can, and it will, but only if you truly believe, come together on one accord and preach Jesus. We need to preach Jesus. They said Jesus died. They hung him on a cross. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so for three days, mm -hmm. he hung there. But early Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power. All power. All power. He got up with power to heal 
the broken heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And got up with all power to tell that wayward husband to return home. Amen. Yeah. He got up yeah. with all Amen. power yes. to tell that mother that her daughter is found. Yeah. Yeah. He got up with all power to tell yeah. all sinners there is a way. Yes. And he is the truth and the life. And the life. No one come to the Father except by me. He come this morning to tell you that uh, you have an opportunity to get it right. If you don't have it right now, you need to get it right. You need to get on your knees and proclaim that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Nothing that I do don't matter except His love that brought me from a mighty long way. Tell your friend that is that is the sermon for the day. Talking about the good news of Jesus which is Jesus Christ. If we don't take this take preach Jesus to the street it's done you no know, good it's done Jesus you're not helping the kingdom you have to help the kingdom that's include young people when they get they getting ready to go back to school and they need to think about what Jesus have done for them over the summer you need to let people know there have been a change in your life Yes, right. See, when you come face to face, when you come in the presence of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there is a change. Oh, yes. yes. You don't think the same anymore. You don't look the same anymore. You don't feel the same. All you want to do is think about Jesus who brought you from a mighty, mighty long way. Maybe stand. I told you I wouldn't be long. I'm trying not to be long because the doors of the church is open. Would that be